everyone, my name is Ksenia and today we're talking about shopping in China. So I already made a part one of this video where I talked about shopping beauty in China and this is the video about shopping fashion in China. If you want to see part one first, I will link it down below. And here today I will show you fashion related stuff that I bought in China, in Shanghai and in Beijing and I will try some things on and I will talk about the peculiarities of shopping clothes slash shoes in China. Again, I want to reiterate what I said in the first part. When I shop outside of my home country, I try to go for local brands. And when it comes to China, it's not necessarily local Chinese brands, which is of course the perfect option, but maybe local Asian brands, Japanese brands, Korean brands, but here we have 90% Chinese brands. I did buy some stuff from European brands, I will show you that as well and talk about buying European brands in China a little bit. I would like to start with my favorite thing because I feel like I'll put it on right now and not take it off throughout the entire video. These are sunglasses. This is the bag, you can see the logo here, it's a Chinese brand, it's called More Than Glasses. And the box that they come in is so cute, is this turquoise like velvet and it's triangular and I love these glasses. I love the shape. I've been looking for some glasses this shape for a while but they just tend to look kind of weird on my face and these actually look good on me. The color is a bit of an unusual choice for me. I kind of look like Johnny Depp in Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas but you know it's a look. So next we have this bag from JNBY here. JNBY is a local Chinese brand which is really stylish, really unusual. You can find it in Europe, but not that many places carry it. And here they have like boutiques and proper stores. And this time I didn't buy that much for me and JNBY because their collections, in my opinion, for my taste, tend to be hit or miss. So I bought a uh, jacket and I bought a pair of pants. I'm going to try them on right now and show you. that I have here is from uh, Urban Revival. I am not a hundred percent sure that it's a Chinese brand, but I've never seen these stores anywhere outside of China, so I would guess it's Chinese. Urban Revival is kind of like the Chinese Zara. They are pretty low priced and the clothes tend to be of not so high of a quality. You really need to dig in to find something worth your attention, but when you do, it's really great. And in terms of style, the entire store is really fashionable, really urban, really fits to my style that I usually go for, so I bought a bunch of stuff and they carry everything starting from cocktail dresses and finishing with just basic t-shirts, so I got a lot of different things. And I feel like usually when we go to stores like Zara or like H&M or these like big net stores, you don't really tend to get statement pieces in such stores, but here in Urban Revival everything is a statement piece, so everything that I got is kind of extra. Cute try on montage. talk about European brands for a change. You can see this Ugg bag here. And I've never had any Uggs ever in my life, even when they were like at the peak of their fashion, because I've never really been into them that much. But these are not actually Uggs, even though they are by the brand. They're these weird little fluffy sandals. And I'm not sure whether it was Ugg that copied them from Puma or Puma that copied them from Ugg, but these are pretty authentic, they, they are natural fur. And it was kind of surprising to me to see at the store that Uggs actually need conditioner, like they are high maintenance. But these are really cute, I think. And even though the summer is over and it's kind of weird to buy sandals at this point, they look pretty winter to me. So I guess it's a good 
transition piece and I myself am not quite sure yet when or where I'm going to wear them but I just couldn't not buy them this is a brand called Yatlas, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this right, but this is also a local Chinese brand and on this trip it was the first time that I actually saw it at the mall and I really like the aesthetic of the shop window, it's really urban, it's really sporty, just the way I tend to dress at this point in time. They have some really fun pieces, even though it's somewhere on the border between athleisure and actual athletic wear, but I feel like if you combine it right it can look really really stylish. And actually it was funny, while we were shopping there, the shop assistant wanted to take a picture with me, I guess for the sole reason of me being blown and tall, which is kind of a common theme when I go to China, everyone kind of looks at me, but it's never aggressive, it's just kind of curious and interested and it's kind of fun. So this store was a whole fun experience and I got a couple of pieces, I got a skirt, I got a jacket, so I'm going to try them on. I went particularly crazy on shoes for whatever reason, which is weird because I don't often buy that many shoes in China because the size is always an issue. I tend to wear 10 and a half, 11 US, which roughly equals to European 41 slash 41 and a half slash 42. But the sizing in China is all sorts of weird. The shoes that I've bought in China have ranged from 40 to about 45. So for me, it's not the place to buy shoes, especially formal shoes, for example, at a store when you ask for the biggest size of a certain pair of heels that they have, they're like, yeah, we have big sizes, like 38 is the biggest, which is of course a no-go for me. But I do buy quite some unisex stuff, sneakers, Uggs, as it turns out, and some other shoes. So these are pretty interesting. This is a Chinese brand called Crocus. And this box is actually pretty interesting because when you unfold it all the way, it becomes completely flat, which is pretty nice considering that I have to travel. I have to go somewhere from here so I can take it with me if I want to. I was kind of hesitant when I was picking this out because they don't quite look like things that I tend to wear on a daily basis but they are very unusual that I can tell you for sure. And as you can see, this kind of plastic rim extends higher than it usually does. And it has like these drips on the sole. And I was going to say that it looks like it was dipped into something and then this something solidified, but I feel like that's exactly what happened. So the word like is not really fitting here. So I felt like I need to have these in my wardrobe since they are very unusual. And I don't think anyone would have them where I live or anywhere in Europe for that matter. The last and the biggest bag that I have here is from Versus by Versace and I know it's not a particularly rare brand to go for when you're in a sort of exotic country but I want to talk separately a little bit about shopping high-end brands in China. And I feel like China is one of the best places to shop high-end brands. And when I say that, I don't mean the price, because the price here is roughly the same, if not a little higher than in Europe. But if you're looking for something that, for example, Louis or Gucci recently released, that in Europe or in America you have to queue for, or you have to be on the wait list for a couple of months for, here they have it on the shelves. I was kind of surprised to find this out because I have a pair of Louis Vuitton Arclight sneakers and I made a video about them, I will link that down below, and I had to go length to get them. And when I came here I was kind of looking at the way people are dressed out in the street, as you do, because I'm very into street style and Chinese street style is particularly interesting and I saw quite some people wearing those arc lights. So when we went to the Louis store, it was 
kind of crazy to see them just on the shelves, any size, any color. And I was kind of gutted because I could have just bought them like a normal person instead of ordering them online or instead of being on the wait list for a couple of months. So if you're looking for something by a high-end brand that is relatively hard to buy where you leave China is the place to get it. So these sneakers that I got at Versus weren't cheaper or anything that they are in Europe, but I just kind of saw them there and I felt like there wouldn't be a chance to get them as easily anywhere. So we have this snazzy Versus box. Here are the sneakers that just so happen to be on the shelf in my size. They are this, the ones that look like socks type, as you can see, and I do have plenty of those. I do have several pairs of this type of sneakers, but I feel like they're just so comfortable and they go with anything if your style is like mine, kind of urban, kind of sporty. And I felt like I would definitely wear this. And they have this really cute detail on here. They have this like brand name written on the heel and the sole is more kind of bulbous than of most of my sneakers of this type. And I love the sole here, it says versus on the bottoms. It's always so hard to wear cute stuff that has something nice on the sole because you'll be stepping on that and it wouldn't look as cute soon but it's a nice touch just to know that it's there so that was my fashion haul from shopping in china in shanghai and in beijing thank you so much for watching you can subscribe if you want to or you can find me on social media, I will link them down below. I'm at Ksenia Did That on almost any platform. Goodbye!